let's get on to the let's get back onto the phone lines because we've been joined by the head of public affairs of WAEC. That's uh, John Capi. We want to understand because he has the chief examiner's report. I want to understand what went wrong in uh, mathematics. He has the chief examiner's report on mass. So let's get onto the phone lines and speak to John Capi. Good morning, sir, and thank you very much for joining us. Good morning and thanks for having me. Great. So let's get straight into it. You have the chief examiner's report. Help us understand what went wrong in mathematics leading to 48% pass rate. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, first of all, let me indicate that the statistics that we have put out there uh, just represents the results that we have published so far. Okay. There are some that have been withheld that we are investigating, and it's possible that if they are not found culpable, the percentage part could go up. Sure. All right. But then, uh, looking at the uh, chief examiner's report that I have in front of me, I just want to stress the weaknesses of the candidates as was observed by the chief examiners. Okay. They indicated that the candidates showed weaknesses in the following. One, representing mathematical information in a diagram. Two, solving global mathematics-related problems. Three, constructing cumulative frequency table from given data distribution. Four, making deductions from real-life problems. Five, solving application problems in simple interest. Six, translating word problems into mathematical expressions. And seven, interpreting of results from cumulative frequency curve. So these are areas that the chief examiners have observed weaknesses in the children's uh, perform or the candidates' performance. Sorry, um, obviously these are not topics that are outside the syllabus and they are not outside the test blueprint. So from the general comment that was made, the chief examiners reported that the standard of the paper compared favorably with that of the previous uh, years. Okay, uh, John, for for. Uh Purposes of emphasis, can you repeat oh. the seven weaknesses that the chief examiner identified again? Okay. So, one, representing mathematical information in a diagram. Two, solving global mathematics-related problems. Three, constructing cumulative frequency table from given data distribution. Four, making deductions from real-life problems. Five, solving application problems in simple interest. Six, translating word problems into mathematical expressions. And seven, interpreting of results from cumulative frequency curve. Uh, please share the five again with us. Number five. Yes. Solving application problems in simple interest. Okay. Now, and you say, uh, you know, these are topics that they are supposed to be taught. And mm -hmm. they, you, you, they, I mean, the, you, you've been setting these kind of questions from previous years also? Well, what you say is that you compare the difficulty level of the questions year on year. Mm -hmm. And... For the chief examiner to be able to make um, uh, the right deduction in terms of the performance of the candidate, they would look at the um, the question that was said the year before and then compare that with whatever we have this year. And then they will say, well, uh, in comparison, either this year's paper is difficult or last year's paper is difficult. But then uh, in comparison, they say that they are of the same difficulty level. Okay, which means that uh, based on that, uh, it's more like the same kind of questions. Now, if you compare, I mean, I, I guess one has to do something. If you compare last year's performance or last year, uh, chief examiner's last year report, did he or she identify similar weaknesses? Um, unfortunately, I don't have that report with me right now, but I can get that from the uh, the relevant departments, and then we can take a look at the um, problems. I mean, the weaknesses that were stated for those previous uh, years. Okay. Now, when it comes to the over one hundred forty thousand uh, candidates whose results are being withheld, um, what are the reasons? 
why you're doing that? So, we have two levels of uh, examination of practice cases that we look at. What we refer to as the routine cases and then the non-routine cases. Mm-hmm. The routine cases are the ones that are detected by our monitors as they go round, And they would report, of course, they will give the candidates um, uh, forms to fill to indicate whatever has happened, for which reason, you know, they are being reported to the council. So when they bring those reports, they look at the merits of the case at that particular moment, and they will go ahead and take a decision as to whether we are going to cancel the result or we think that the evidence is not strong enough and we'll go ahead and release. Now, for the ones that we have had to withhold, it is those that have been detected by the examiners in the court of marking. And so, once they report, it is not um, a straightforward case that you go ahead and um, cancel without giving the candidates an opportunity to defend themselves. Mm-hmm. So, we take a look at the, the strengths look at the report that have come, and when we are convinced that indeed there is something that has gone amiss, we would then provide an opportunity for the candidates to, uh, you know, defend themselves or to tell us their side of the story. So that is where we are right now. A number of them we've looked at, we felt that the evidence was not strong enough, we're going to have to release them. Uh, There are some also that we feel have not gone well, and so we are going to provide an opportunity for the candidates to uh, respond and tell us their side of the story before a final decision is taken. Okay. Now, now, when when we started the conversation, you talked about how, uh, because you are withholding certain, um, you know, um, uh, results, the performance or the pass rate could improve. Um, Do you, by chance, have the figures, say, when it gets to a core subject like mathematics, uh, how many students have their results withheld? Uh, no, I don't have those uh, figures immediately in front of me. Um, what we have put out there is what we received at the time that we um, were going to publish the results. Okay. But then each day, by the close of the day, once the committee is convinced that some uh, people, uh, I mean, the evidence brought against them is not strong enough, we instruct the uh, ICT department to uh, release their results. And so each day, results uh, come out. So we, we believe that by the close of this month, we would have dealt with all the issues and everybody would receive uh, whatever they deserve uh, based on the outcome of our investigations. John Capi, thank you very, very much for joining us this morning. We're grateful to you. It's my pleasure. And that's uh, Head of Public Affairs of the West African Examination Council, Ghana Office, John Kapi. When we return, we'll go through, you know, all the points. Seven weaknesses identified uh, by, YEC, by the chief examiner in mathematics.